All around the world, with the continued rise in craft beer, there are so many wonderful breweries that deserve at the very least a visit. Consider this series your guide to globetrotting the best of the world's craft beer scene. So we're here at Brewery Garbert Hopka in Western Flanders. An absolute gem, absolutely historical. I'm going to take you through the paces and then we're going to see what beers this beautiful little brewery has to offer. I'm here with Bruno, the brewmaster, and it's going to be fun. And because it's on this show, you know it's going to be good. Let's go check it out. Brode Haver Hopke is one of those quaintly beautiful breweries full of history and passion. Nestled away in a hidden corner in Flanders, it is situated at the site of an old fort that was destroyed during the French Revolution. The building is in the old farmhouse from those days, the only thing still standing when the peasants had their way with the nobility. It features a lookout tower, which is the original structure as well, but it looks over a decidedly different landscape than when it was first built. The brewery has recently been awarded the Terra Brew Certificate because of their use of 100% Belgian products. Let's find out more about that. Welcome to the brewery at Gaverhopke. Uh, an artisanal brewery bestaat sinds 1994, where uh, my vrouw and I, Goedroen and myself, the volledige uitbating doen. And today is a special day, omdat we for the first time a brouwers van maken, het koersenklaksje, met als motto: ook het bier is van ons. Speciaal daaraan is dat wij met Terra Brew mout gaan werken van castle malting. Dat wil zeggen dat de granen die we gebruiken 100% van Belgische bodem komen. Als ook de hoppen is 100% Belgisch en daar zijn we echt wel uh, terecht fier op. Ook met ons HIB label bewijzen we dat wij alles op een artisanale manier kunnen maken. Op deze locatie die ook uniek is willen we zeer toeristisch gaan werken en hopen we zeer veel mensen te kunnen ontvangen om zowel de brouwerij te bezoeken als ook hier iets te komen eten of te drinken natuurlijk. Well, that's fantastic. You know I'm really after just the beers. So let's have a look at them, what they are, and more importantly, what they taste like. So like I said, we're here at the Gaver Hopke Brewery. Here in West Flanders, I'm being joined by Bruno, and we have I swear, I have the best job in the world. And I will tell you, I've been to this brewery before. Actually, we filmed this segment before. Uh, the sound wasn't on though, but uh, that gives me more excuse to drink some more of these delicious beers. Now, uh, now I'm gonna I'll tell you one interesting thing though about this brewery is that you cannot buy this beer on a supermarket shelf. You actually physically have to come here to West Flanders to come and enjoy these beers. And I tell you what, it's really, really worthwhile. Without getting uh, in further into it, let's start. So Bruno, where is that? Uh, Kursche Kursche Klaxe. You can see that there? Kursche, Kla Kursche Klaxe. There we go. That's probably still wrong, but yes. it's whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so this uh, Kursche, Kursche Klaxe is actually a cap for cycling. Cycling cap. It's a cycling cap. And uh, they're very proud of this beer because this is the one that got them the Terra Brew logo. Uh, which means that 
absolutely everything to do with this beer was uh, sourced in Belgium. So the, the malt, the hops, the, the, the water, of course. Where are you going to get water from? But it's fine. So and it's it's beautiful you can see it pours crystal clear the one the draft pours uh, the nice and cloudy as well but that's also delicious oh yes it definitely has that personal appeal but there's a lot more body to it there's a lot more sort of uh length on the tongue as they would say and uh oh it's refreshing this is absolutely delicious like uh oh but that's that's delicious it just rolls of your tongue it's so refreshing it's so delicious and you know you can really you can taste the grain you can taste every aspect that's gone into this beer there's no muddle muddied uh, muddied flavors and so on and I can tell you this probably because the water chemistry is absolutely spot-on this is a good beer thank you moving on moving on uh, we have the bittersweet symphony which is a deeper okay here's the label I hope you can see that yeah and uh, this this is coming in at 7.8% uh, alcohol and yeah Belgian double IPA so it's a Belgian style double IPA let's let's have a look at how that stands out but uh, spoiler it's gonna be good once again beautiful head absolutely rock solid beautiful head gorgeous carbonation Ooh, yes. So you've got you've got two aspects in the on the aroma. You've got the uh, you've got that, that Belgian yeast coming through pretty strongly, but this delightful, fruity, uh, citrusy, slightly tropical nose, and that's obviously from American hop American hops. American hops. Americans, you can't make it. You can't make an American <laughs> style deeper without American hops. You can take that to the bank, but. Uh, mm. Delicious. Now that's that's one of the things, you know, you can tell a good IPA when the bitterness, because like, I mean, this is a deeper, so it's this is properly hopped. Uh, what are the IBUs on this? Uh, I don't know in my head. I have yeah. to check it. It's a lot. Yeah. But that's the thing, you know, you, the bitterness is supposed to bite, okay, your tongue. But uh, especially if your water chemistry is not correct, it's bitter and it immediately dissipates. I mean, it, it's gone almost immediately. Mm. So you can enjoy another sip easily. I'm telling you. Mm. That's absolutely divine. But yeah, you, this, you, you can, you're aware that there's alcohol involved here. Sort of at the back here, there's a slight warming. Um, yeah, but uh, so this is not something for a school night. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna finish this. They say don't chug craft beer. I say mind your own business. Nice. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's try this one. This beer, this beer, I would classify this as a Belgian dark strong, but it is very different to Belgian dark strongs that you would understand. This beer. Look at that. So, this is 12% alcohol, okay? Now, notice it's still retaining its head. It's not going flat like it normally would. So, something's right here. The color is absolutely black. Black like an Irish stout. Like you can see at the bottom here, it's like a very deep red color. But, uh, this is absolutely uh, an amazing looking beer. There you go. On the nose, immediately the complexity hits you. It's, it's, I mean, it's like a bouquet of dried fruit. You know, it's not just like, oh no, plum or this, this and that. It's a bouquet of dried fruit. Absolutely, and they actually won a gold medal for this beer. And I tell you, it's, it was, when I first tasted it, it was no shock to me whatsoever. I thought, I mean, if you haven't entered this in a competition yet, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. But here goes the flavor. Hints of licorice. 
Is there licorice in here? No. There's, it tastes like licorice. <laughs> I think he's lying. <laughs> but um, but that's the thing. You know, like I, I'm, I'm sipping a, a 12% alcohol uh, brew, and there is no hint of alcohol in the. Oh wait, hang on. No wait, I can. I, there we go. The only indication that there is actually alcohol in this is in your the chest area where you it warms slightly afterwards. You know, um, there's no hotness. There's no harshness. There's this is apps. You could drink this as easily as you could drink the deeper, but <laughs> it's not recommended, <laughs> especially if you're driving. Yeah. Not only is it delicious, it's a beer that has been crafted so perfectly. It's been aged and matured absolutely correctly to textbook style, and this is what you want to end up with. It's a beer that has all the complexity of a big ale, but none of the harshness, none of the hotness. Uh, none of that alcoholic sense, you know. Um, the only way you're going to know that this is, if I didn't tell you this had 12% ABV in it, you'd realize it after about the third glass and then you'd already be in trouble. Cheers, Bruno. Cheers. This is an absolutely magnificent creation. They're all magnificent creations. But this is my absolute favorite. This is a, a delicious beer. You can't get this beer anywhere else but in West Flanders. You. I mean, you literally have to travel here to come and get it, but I tell you what, everything's worth it. The food here is great. Everything is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend that you come and check it out and just experience it. I'm going to go play with the rabbit. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Thanks, guys, and uh, thanks for watching Brewery Spotlight. We'll check you next time. Cheers. Cheers. I immensely enjoyed myself here at Klavod Hopka, and I know you will too. Come give them a visit, and we'll see you next time in Brewery Spotlight. <laughs>